Hello, Mr. Vijay. Hello. How are you? Doing good. Okay. Vijay, why do you believe that a smile can change one's life? Yeah. <laughs> See, a beautiful smile, you know, when you meet anyone or when you interact with anyone, even before an interaction, you know, once you look at another individual with a very beautiful smile, with a very gracious smile, then what happens is, no matter how much ever problems the other person is going through in their lives, when they just look at your smile, they tend to forget that. And not only that, you also create a brand and a unique identity for yourselves. Wherein, you know, people start talking and then they keep telling that, I know this guy and he always, you know, smiles. He has a very beautiful and a very gracious smile. So that's the impact factor that the smile it creates you know in any individual so i will give a nice example uh, nagraj sure so what happens is there are a group of college students and then they go and attend a motivational uh, talk of a very leading you know motivational trainer so when they go there what happens is this motivational trainer he starts with a joke so when he cracks the joke all of them you know they start laughing and then they keep laughing. You can hear loud noises because it's a, it's a very beautiful joke. Then what happens is he again repeats the same joke. Okay. So even for the second time, you know, all these uh, students, you know, they laugh at that particular joke. Now he continues it for the third time. He goes on for the fourth time. So fifth time, what happens is all these students, you know, they're just looking at the eyes of that particular trainer and they think is it something wrong with him what's wrong with him why is he cracking the same joke again and again and again so what we need to understand is we don't laugh on the same joke again and again and again then why do we cry for the same problem again and again and again oh very beautiful yes so we have to understand that the difficulties that we face in life the issues you know that we face in life the problems you know that we face in life yes. the challenges that we face in life the troubles that we face in life now all these are nothing but it's the test of god he tries to you know test your patience and what we have to understand is the universal power he already has an amazing incredible plan which only he knows. And then the fact is he always tries to test, you know, your patience. Because ups and downs are part and parcel of everyone's life. So if we were to know, you know, what that plan is, because we don't know, yes. like what is that particular plan? We cannot see how. And then we don't even know why or what it is. So what happens is when we are going through the crisis, we only cry or we crib or we only think about the problems, you know, that we are facing in our lives. But just imagine and see if we were to know that grand plan, then even at the time of the crisis, all we do is we respond, you know, with a very gracious and with a very beautiful smile. No. So that's the beauty of life. So irrespective of the difficulties, the issues, the problems, the challenges, and then the troubles that we face in life, we should have a very firm belief that this is only a test from the universal power. And he is trying to, you know, test our patience. We need to always stay strong and we need to fight back. We need to have that sort of a willpower, you know, within us. So just imagine, even if you look at, uh, you know, any organizations, when you just look at employees, you know, with a very beautiful and with a very gracious smile. So what happens is at the end of the day, when you go back, you think about that particular person, you know, for the beautiful smile that they carry forward. Yes. So we need to understand, see, problems is something which is quite common across. You know, okay. all of us, you know, we face problems in life. And we also need to understand that past is past. We're not going to get back the past. And future is something that is always uncertain. We don't know the future. 
So what we need to do is we need to enjoy the present and make the best optimal utilization of present. Because when we keep worrying, then what happens is it kills our present. It kills the very moment, you know, of our lives. Yes. And at the same time, it also eats away, you know, our time and we're not able to focus on the future. So understand that no matter whatever problems we face, the universal power is trying to test our patience. And we always, you know, even at the time of the crisis, we need to respond with a very beautiful and with a very gracious smile. Oh, <laughs> superb. It's true, actually. Yes. So I'll end this quote, you know, with a very beautiful uh, say of uh, C.S. Lewis. So what he says is, you cannot go back to the past and change the beginning. But all what you can do is you can stay in the present. You can stay wherever you are and then change the ending. Yes. So crisis is only, you know, a temporary problem that we face in life. So always, you know, at the time of the crisis as well, respond with a very beautiful smile. And it not only makes your day, it also makes the day of every other individual that you meet. That's beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Vijay. Thank you. Thanks.